This is the support and guidance film for the question, was, why, was Germany, Weimar Germany doomed from the beginning? Explain your answer. What we're looking for in this response is three PEA paragraphs following the model that you have been taught since year seven. Okay, with an introduction, the main part, and a conclusion. Read the question. What are the command words, the highlighted words, the words that drive the question? Make a note of these here. These are the words that need to appear in your answer if your answer is to directly and clearly answer the question. Secondly, as all the best answers in history are thought through and considered and planned, give some very brief time to the content of your response. What topics can you talk about? Think and plan before you write. Finally, what is the analytical statement? If this is the question at the top, what is it that you have to write in your analysis at the end of each paragraph in order to answer the question clearly? Now that will no doubt be linked to the command and highlighted words. It's essential that each paragraph addresses the question. When completed, you will be able to identify what went well and what you need to do in order to improve. OK. Now then, we move on to the model answer. I believe that overall Weimar was indeed doomed. So, because it's a planned response, the candidate already has their answer in mind. They know what the conclusion is going to be, but hopefully what's going to be explained in the introduction is that they're going to give a balanced response to this question. Overall, I believe Weimar was indeed doomed from the beginning. In this essay, I will argue the case for why this is true, but also consider factors that allowed Weimar to survive as long as it did. So we have a very short introduction that states an opinion and provides a plan. This is going to be a two-sided response. Why the statement is true, why the statement might not be true. Firstly, I think Weimar was doomed because of the Treaty of Versailles. This document would, only, would not only cause an impossible burden for Germany, as it was intended, but also cause unforeseen political and economic consequences for Germany. So, we have our evidence. This obviously needs further explanation. It left Germany with impossible debts. Well, that's economic, which in turn undermined its economy. Secondly, and politically identified previously, it made the Weimar government unpopular and would lead in turn to poverty whenever hard times occurred. These are your social and economic consequences as well. This in the long term made its failure certain, as well as the hatred Germans would have for the Weimar November criminals who signed the treaty. All analysis answering the question. Secondly, Weimar was doomed because of problems it inflicted upon itself. So, as opposed to problems it had no control over, the Treaty of Versailles, self-inflicted problems. Proportional representation left Germany without strong government when it most needed it in 1923 and from 1929, so both the year of crisis and the Wall Street crash. The desire to have an honest and open form of democracy was a great principle, but it left Germany's lead Germany leaderless when crisis hit, as well as giving the German people a type of government they were simply not used to. Crises like 1923, hyperinflation and the Wall Street crash left many Germans longing for strong leadership, which of course is what Hitler offered, ending the Weimar Republic in 1933. So all analysis linked back to the question. Why was Weimar doomed? Yes, it was, but everything identified here. Article 48 is another example of a self-inflicted problem. Allowing the effective end of democracy in an undefined national emergency may sound good, but it was also easily exploited by Hitler when he became Chancellor in 1933. The constitution of Weimar simply did not anticipate the disastrous roller coaster decade that Germany would experience. Weimar essentially signed its own death warrant with Article 48. Now, these aren't explicitly as clear as they could be. They're not using the key words that drive the question, like 
doomed or not doomed. But they nonetheless, in their own way, are answering that question. Finally, despite the efforts of politicians like Straysman, Weimar only ever survived during global good times, referring to the Golden Age. Any recovery Weimar experienced, like she did during the golden years of 24 to 29, were only superficial. Versailles was still in place and hated by all Germans, and only generous loans from the USA kept the German economy afloat. The crash of 1929 showed how fragile the Weimar experiment had been. Weimar would only survive another four years until Hitler was elected. In conclusion, that, Duma, that Weimar was doomed, I feel, is inevitable. What is surprising is how long it survived, considering how it was established, organised, and what it experienced.